The Church of England has acknowledged that a former Sussex bishop who famously spoke out against British bombing raids in the Second World War was a paedophile. George Bell was Bishop of Chichester for 30 years until his death in 1958. He sexually assaulted a child in the late 1940s and early 50s. Well, the Church has issued a formal apology to the victim, now in their 80s, who wishes to remain anonymous. A legal claim for compensation has also been settled. They first came forward in 1995, but the complaint then was effectively ignored. Ian Palmer reports. George Bell, the then Bishop of Chichester with the Queen in Crawley. As a senior member of the Anglican Church, he knew scores of influential people in Britain and around the world. During his life and after, he was respected and revered. Today, it's been revealed Bishop Bell sexually abused a child. The victim, who wishes to remain anonymous, has received a financial settlement and an apology from the Church of England. In common with everybody else, I'm deeply saddened, um, but our first, res um, first response has to be to the survivor in this instance. And uh, with the Bishop of Chichester, I join in, in the sincerest apology, uh, both that this happened all those years ago, but also uh, that it has taken so long for the church to respond adequately. George Bell was enthroned as Bishop of Chichester in 1929 at the age of 46. He made a famous speech in 1944 in the House of Lords against the indiscriminate bombing of German cities, describing it as threatening the roots of civilization. Services to mark the 50th anniversary of his death were held in Chichester and Germany, and a memorial exhibition was organized at the House of Lords. The victim was a young child when the abuse took place in the 1940s and 50s. They came forward in 1995, but the matter wasn't reported to the police. Earlier this month, the former Bishop of Lewis, Peter Ball, was jailed for indecent assault and misconduct in public office. This and other similar cases has led some to believe there was a cover-up. The Archbishop of Canterbury has launched an independent inquiry. Another commissioned by the government will take years to complete. Part of the reason there are a number of cases in the public eye at the moment is precisely because we have taken um, a, a proactive stance in sharing information, in working closely with the police and the statutory organisations to make sure that victims and survivors are able to tell their story, are able to achieve justice insofar as that is possible, sometimes years removed from the events that have caused them distress. Well, Ian Palmer is in Horsham for us now. Ian, uh, what else have the church had to say today? The Church of England says that uh, a formal claim for compensation was made in April of last year. That then started a formal process which included a number of uh, independent expert reports into this case and none of those reports found any reason to doubt the veracity of this claim. The Church of England says it continues to take allegations of abuse of any nature very seriously. Rob. Ian, thank you. The jury in the trial of a Sussex vicar accused of eight counts of indecent assault has retired to consider its verdict. Vickery House is 69 and now retired, denies targeting two teenagers and four young men, all connected with the church in the 1970s and 80s.